Welcome to Project Womble. This week we're exploring Battersea Power Station on the Northern Line. Here at Project Womble, I'm on a mission to visit and explore every station on the London Underground. And this week it's the turn of Battersea Power Station. Here's a little map of where we're off to today. So we're going to start at Battersea Power Station and then go along the embankment, past Grosvenor Bridge and Chelsea Bridge, into Battersea Park, down to the Peace Pagoda, um, and back and we'll see what we can find along the way. So Batsy Power Station is a Grade 2 listed building. It used to be a, an old coal power station. Um, it's Art Deco style. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful building. Um, it was, they, they started building it in 1929, so absolutely stunning styling. And now it's been converted um, into luxury flats and then inside there's a shopping centre and some bars and restaurants, which I'll show you later. Here we're now walking under the railway bridge. Love the bunting here, very cute, very cute. This is the Grobson Bridge, which is the railway bridge. Lovely artwork here, like that. And this is the famous Chelsea Bridge. So we're, now we're outside Batsy Park. This is a beautiful park, 200 acres on the south bank of the Thames. It used to be old marshland and it's a grade two listed park. Absolutely stunning. Opened in 1858. Same year as the Chelsea Bridge was opened by Queen Victoria. Used to be a popular um, site for jeweling, jewels in the 1800s as well. This is the London Peace Pagoda. This is beautiful. This was erected in 1985. It was erected to inspire peace. Um, although when I went, there was a guy walking round and round in circles, ranting at someone on his iPhone. So I'm not sure it inspires everybody, but it's absolutely beautiful. There's gilded bronze statues of the, the Buddha all the way around. Um, absolutely lovely. Now we're heading back onto Chelsea Bridge towards Battersea Power Station again. I love this building. They really don't make buildings like, like this anymore, do they? This is one of the tallest brick buildings in the world. Um, and it is absolutely stunning. This is the inside, so they've redeveloped in here, um, but but kept like a nice sort of industrial style. Um, I love the the feel and the vibe in here. I went on a Saturday and it was very, very busy, but then I went early morning and a weekday to do some of this footage. Um, it was a lot quieter, absolutely stunning. And then this is the underground station itself. This opened in 2021, so it's a new station. Um, it's got, you know, lifts, it's step-free access, very modern, lots of stainless steel um, and wide open spaces in there. It's cool. I love it. Thanks for following along. Check out my other videos. I do new stations every single week.